Your changes have been made to the proposed West Lafayette annexation plan. News 18's Holly Campbell joins us live from West Lafayette with more on today's announcement. Holly. Jeff, Gina, seven residential neighborhoods originally included in the annexation plan have been removed. Mayor John Dennis says the new plan focuses on economic development. In April, this proposed annexation map was presented, including many residential areas. But after talking to a number of neighborhood associations and residents, Mayor John Dennis says plans have changed. Dennis says from the beginning, he wanted the voice of the people living in the areas considered for annexation to be heard. And they've been very, very vocal about how it's just not what they want right now. And again, I think I need to stress that, you know, this is going to be our annexation proposal for now. You know, I think that it's incumbent on us to be able to prove that, and I think one of the gentlemen in the audience at the council meeting said that we can be a good neighbor. The new plan cuts seven neighborhoods from the annexation. The Greens, Green Meadows, Huntington Farms, McQueen Estates, The Orchards, Sherwood Forest, and Wake Robin. Many at the meeting say it's what they were hoping for. He wanted to listen to the people and did not want to force people into something that they did not want and that he has held his word true. He took what they had to say to heart and um, he's a reasonable guy. Our mayor's a reasonable guy and I think he did the right thing today. There's no doubt in my mind. Wabash Township trustee Julie Byers says the new plan also benefits the Wabash Township Volunteer Fire Department. We rely on that small portion that um, our residents pay for us to not only provide a good service but also have up-to-date equipment to keep our equipment maintained. Purdue University and the new U.S. 231 corridor are the heart of the new annexation plan. Dennis says focusing in on those two areas will help drive economic development. Now we're looking at something that's going to be practical, it's going to be leaner, it's going to be more directed towards economic development, and it's going to be a great opportunity for us, for Purdue University, and for all of our future. Sugar Hill subdivision is still included in the annexation. Dennis says that's because it's surrounded by Purdue University. Now the next step for the plan is it will be presented to City Council for consideration later this month. Reporting live in West Lafayette, Holly Campbell, News 18.